A split between China and the U.S. would have been unthinkable several years ago. But as China moves toward high-end manufacturing, actions by the U.S. are thwarting Chinese contenders in the world of high-tech. Tesla and Google have made headlines with their breakthroughs in self-driving. But what's receiving less coverage are Chinese companies already using AI to put such vehicles on the road. L2 级别呢，在高价高速情况下，驾驶就是作用比较大。然后在低速情况下，还是以人为驾驶为主，因为地面道路各种不可控的因素太多了，插队，还有红绿灯，然后那个车道线不清晰，包括那个有交通事故，像这个 L2 级别是无法规避的。This car was embedded with an automated driving system developed by iMotion Automotive. It processes large amounts of data from the environment to drive without help from a human at the wheel. China's self-driving car technology has been very fast. We call it L1, L2, L3. These self-driving cars have been commercialized. Now, in the world, the number of cars that are self-driving is China and the United States. At the heart of this endeavor are Chinese chips, or these electronic brains that power the intelligence of our computers. Of this endeavor are chips, or the electronic brains that power the intelligence of our computers. iMotion cars use a chip. Made by the Israeli company Mobileye, which was purchased by U.S. tech giant Intel in 2017. 做自动驾驶呢，一些核心的芯片是被国外的企业，尤其是美国，基本垄断的。包括做角色控制的这些芯片，也都是来自于欧美比较多。啊，当然也有日本。啊，我们国内呢，还是一个非常前期一个起步的阶段。Now, a series of actions from the U.S. are threatening to isolate China from getting these chips. But even though the U.S. and its allies still have a clear advantage in designing and producing chips, China has decades of experience as the leading global manufacturer. 对传统制造业来讲的话，我们做自动驾驶的，我们是一些科技类的企业。但是呢，我们离不开制造，自动驾驶的预控的器，还有呢我们的摄像头，其实呢是需要传统制造业的。中国制造业的大国，这个地位的话是非常难被取代的。我们已经有了非常好的基础。This means it has built up the capacity to make almost everything efficiently, at low cost and with high precision. Despite slowing down, globalization will move forward as cooperation between countries continue to bring past science fiction to life.